What's going on guys, Criminal Justice here, and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys, God bless America, God bless the troops that they're fighting for our freedom. So today guys, uh, this has been by request for a while, but today on my YouTube I got another request for it, uh, which I have planned on doing it, but this is mainly by request. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and operate stop the pad now, I know this is the one you guys have been waiting for this is one of the more important mods in the game besides ultimate backup which I'll be doing one on that too uh, so with that being said guys you have the links below the links are in the description of course go ahead and click that stop the ped link it's gonna bring you to this page right here this is gonna be a little bit different page now this is the guy that actually created stop the ped and um, you know ultimate backup uh, the ANPR light, the speed radar light. Uh, he he uh, is the modder that made all these mods here. Okay, so we are uh, Bajoli, B Bajoljo. That's his name, Bajoljo. Right here's his name. See him right here. All right. So this is going to be version four point eight point zero point zero. So for those of you who's been playing, and you've been seeing that update pop up that says "Stop the Ped and Ultimate Backup" as an update. Well, this is the page that it's on right here. Um, so anyway, let's scroll down. You're going to come to this page right here. You're going to scroll all the way down. Okay. And then click that little blue download button right there and just click that. Now, when you come to this next part, don't click anything until I say otherwise because you'll click the wrong thing. All right. Now, this right here, don't click that file, Okay. Because if you click that, it's just going to take you inside the file and show you what other files remain, uh, like reside inside that file. So don't click that one. You want to go over to your right here where this little arrow is. See that where it says download? Click download. Okay? Now, what do you want to do is stop the ped, and you're going to save it to your downloads, or as always, guys, save as and put it where you want. Alright? So once that's downloaded... I'm going to go ahead and close out of this because we don't need it. I'll leave the uh, the dis I'll leave the link for the main page of this in the description as well for you guys, so y'all can go check out. There's just a few mods on there, I believe, from what I've seen. But if you guys want the main link uh, for the main page, I'll I'll put that in there for you as well. All right. Now the first thing we're going to do, guys, is go ahead and open up our GTA 5 directory by right clicking on the File Explorer and going up to your Grand Theft Auto 5. If you guys did it like that. It's going to pull up your GTA, your GTA 5 directory. Pull it over to the left, or whichever side you prefer, and pull it down. Because you're going to need this area right here to install. See that? All right. And then you're going to pull up, you're going to double click stop the pad. So let's go ahead and do that. And then sling it over like that. All right. And I'll push this over a little bit so I got a little bit more room to work with in my directory because I want it to be kind of. So I always want this area to show. I don't know why, but I just I just do, guys. It's just how I am. Anyway, uh, go ahead and double-click that Stop the Bed right there. And right here, of course, you have a README text. You can go and read that if you want to. It just tells you about the, the mod and the, the installation process and all that. It tells you how to install it right here, guys. Let me show you. Right here, installation process. So here is your installation right here. Copy the contents of plugins. LSPDFR in this package to GTA 5 directory plugins LSPDFR. All right, so that is your installation. Most of these mods come with installation instructions in the README text, okay? But if you guys don't feel like doing it like that, it's hard for you to understand, which I understand it is for a lot of us. You know, I had a hard time understanding those things myself until I really got the hang of it. But that's what I'm here for is to help you guys along with it. So go ahead and hold down your control key. And click Rage Native UI DLL and click plugins. Select those two, okay? Now what you're gonna do next is you're gonna grab these. I've already installed this, so I'm not gonna do it again. I don't wanna, you know, have to start all over again. Grab them, pull them into this area right here, and just drop them, okay? Now once that's done, it's probably gonna ask you if you did my last store, it's gonna ask you if you want to replace the Rage Native UI DLL. Go ahead and replace it. Alright? Uh, if it doesn't, that's cool. All right, then uh, we're gonna go to plugins in the directory. Go ahead and close out of uh, I'm gonna cl cl close out of your your WinRAR. Close out of that and get rid of the shortcut if you want to. Just delete that out. 
Now go to your directory and let's pull this baby up full screen and go to plugins, double click that, double click LSPDFR. All right, and then you're gonna go down and find your uh, stop the ped. There's your .dll that runs it. And then right here is your INI, I. double click that one. Okay, now full screen this guys. All right, now the only thing, okay, now remember I was telling you guys at the beginning of these tutorials when I, when I first started them, and when I did the rest manager tutorial that the G button was very important to hang on to, to keep it blank until a certain point. We are at that point, guys. This is where you're going to use that G key. This is where it's very important to use, okay? All right, so right here, this is for keyboard users. Main key of the plugin, you have to press it twice to stop the pad, which is E on the keyboard. So just say if you're pointing your gun at a pad and you double tap the E key, it's going to make the pad put their hands up. They're going to stop. They're going to get on their knees and they're going to put their hands behind their head. Now, if you don't have a gun in your hand and you double tap that E or double tap right on the D-pad on your controller, then they'll just stop without going into arrest mode. Okay? But if you want to arrest and point the gun, if you don't, don't have don't don't point a gun, just double tap the key, okay? Alright. So you're gonna leave that key right there the same as E. Alright. And then right here, key to open the context menu for PEDs and vehicles. Context menu key equals G. Okay? That's why I wanted to leave the key G open because this context menu is very important to have. This, you're going to use this a lot, guys. Trust me. I use it all the time for tow services, for corners, um, for to search vehicles. You know, when I search the vehicle and the whole, all the doors come open, that's what that menu is for. That's exactly what that's for, okay? So if yours is, I can't remember if it's already set to G, but if it is, leave it that way. If it's not, change it to G, but keep in mind, your letters must be capitalized, Okay. You must have capitalized letters, so make sure that your G is a capital G. All right, and then right here, key to be used at gunpoint to make as pursuit target would be T. So, for example, when you point your gun at a pedestrian or a car, somebody driving a car, and you press the T, the T, uh, the T key on the keyboard, it points them out as a suspect. Okay, it points them out as a pursuit target. And then all 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 the backup starts coming in after them, like they're they're right on them. Okay, the whole screen will light up in red and blue, and it'll show them as a red dot on the map. All right, so let's move on down, and then of course here's your quick grab, which we had this option here in um, Arrest Manager, left control key and T. So just leave that the same. Uh, you can leave all this the same right here. Now we're down into buttons. Anytime you see buttons, that means controllers, okay? So for controller users, this is for you. All right? So main button of the controller, you have to tap it twice to stop the pad. Stop button equals D-pad right. So you point your gun at the pad, tap the D-pad right twice. They put their hands up on their knees, hands behind their head in arrest mode, and you can arrest them. Now, again, if you don't want to arrest the pad, just leave your gun down. Or put your gun away and double tap right on the D-pad and they'll just stop, okay? That way you can ask them for their ID, um, you can question them, you can give them breathalyzer tests, etc., etc., okay? Um, let's go on down through here. Control to open the context menu for Peds and Vehicles. Now, I believe on default, this, is, this one right here is set to A, and I think this is set to like left bumper, right bumper maybe, something like that. But it's up to you. You guys can leave it if you want to, but I changed mine to none. Um, but because, you know, I mean, I don't need to open the context menu from two different ways. I either have the keyboard or I have my controller. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? So you can change that or you can put it to none. If you want to change it to none, for those of you that don't know, you just highlight, you find the word none on here, or you can just simply type it in. But you can do it like this and hit copy and then anything you want to change to none you would just highlight it again right click and then click paste and it'll put the word none in there okay so moving on down to control button to be used with gunpoint to make a pad as pursuit target same thing I was talking about while I go with the keyboard users okay so what you're gonna do in this in this case is d-pad up 
And that's what it's going to be on. It should be. If it's not, change it to D-pad up. All right, just the way it looks right here. Just the way it looks. Capital D, capital P, A, D, capital U, lowercase p, okay? So you pretty much point your gun uh, and you push up on the D-pad and makes them as a pursuit target. You see what I'm saying? And they turn up as a red blip on the map yet again. All right, so moving on down here. Uh, shortcut button to quick grab the pad. I don't normally use that. I think it's set to something, but I can't remember what it is. It's like um, left bumper or right bumper and B, I think. But see, that's what I'm saying. I either use the keyboard for one thing or the controller for one thing. It's not, I never have it set for both. The only thing I have set on both is my simple trainer. That's it. I have my simple trainer set to F3, and my simple trainer is set to um, right bumper X on my controller. All right, so moving on down. Now, a button to tackle the player is chasing pursuit pad. So you want to change this to X, okay? Now, I didn't explain this last time because normally it's set to like A because if you're chasing somebody, that A button is your sprint button, correct? Okay, so if you're chasing somebody and say you got to pass, you know, four or five, maybe six people in the process, you're chasing this person, each time you run by that person, you're tapping that A button, you're going to tackle that person. You're going to fall on the ground, and your suspect's going to get further away. So change that to X. That way, your A button doesn't intervene in that. It doesn't interfere and collide. It doesn't collide and, and clash and all that, okay? So change that to X if it's not already. Um, button to boost player speed, sprinting for a few seconds. Now, I have mine set to A. Now, reason being is is because I know I'm going to catch that suspect. When you set your boost sprint to A, your character is going to run much faster, almost like you have super jump on in the um, in the simple trainer, okay? But it's it's not it's not activated. But this is like having that on, and your guy runs extra fast with this, okay? So you might want to set that to A. Um, I will. I mean, I did, of course. But let me go on down here and look at this real quick. We're just going to try to scan through it because I am going to go into the game with you guys. And show you uh, how this actually works. So if you guys want to mess all this stuff right here, you can. I normally do not mess with it. Um, this is just telling you um, what kind of models was going, what kind of cars are going to come out for like taxis. You know they're going to send a taxi. I mean you can change it to anything you want to. I could actually go like this right here and just say if I want a Sultan to be a taxi, okay? These are Uber models, okay? Now if I wanted to change this taxi to to Sultan. I'll just go like this and copy that. And then I would highlight the taxi, okay? And right click and hit paste. But but don't do that because if, if you're looking for realism like, like me, like I like to make it as realistic as possible, just leave all this the way it is because you don't want to, if you call a taxi, you don't want a regular salt and car or, a, or an emperor to show up to pick up your suspect, you know what I'm saying? You want it to be a taxi. If you call for an Uber, you want it to be one of these vehicles right here. These are your Uber drivers right here, okay? It'd be cool to have somebody come on a motorcycle, a two-seater motorcycle, to pick up somebody for an Uber. Wouldn't that be cool? I might change that to that. That, that, that would be, that's realistic, I guess. <laughs> the spawn distance of escort vehicle warning. Changing the spawn distance might affect your waiting time. So, it's set to default, but you can lower it so that, when you call for like a taxi or uh, you know an Uber, some kind of escort, they'll be closer. They won't be as far away. But I just leave it right there to hundred where it is because I just you know it's just realistic to me. So um, everything else is uh, pretty much set to default, and that's gonna be the way that I leave. Let me let me double check here, guys, and make sure there's nothing else at all that we need to change. Just kind of scroll with me here because I'm just scanning through it. Um, okay, so, okay. Attention, if you have Ultimate Backup installed, the customization for Corner in this i file will be ignored. You can't customize Corner Pad and Vehicle Models on defaultregions.xml. You can or you can't? Oh, you can. You can customize the Corner Pad and Vehicle Models on default regions.xml file and ultimate backup folder okay so just say for example if you want to change 
if you don't want the corner to be a van, if you want it to be like, um, you know, like a uh, just a different type of car or something. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm almost over this cold. I'm almost over it. Uh, if you guys want it to be a different car, you can change it. But you have to go to your ultimate backup folder, which I don't know if you have it or not yet. I haven't done a control on that yet. So if you don't have it, then just be patient, guys. One is coming. Um, if I haven't already done it, because I've done so many tutorials, I've lost track of everything I've done. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, that's what that is. You can just customize it. But you go to the ultimate backup folder and go to the uh, default regions.xml. You'll have to open it up with Notepad. And then you can go in there and customize uh, which vehicle shows up, which ped shows up, and all that good stuff. So, it'll give you options. Um, all right. So, let's scroll down here. Just follow me, guys. Um, I think that's pretty much. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else that we need to change. Yeah, that's it, guys. That's it. So go ahead and, uh, you know, if you change anything, click File and click Save. Or, as always, you can click the X and then click Save when prompted to. All right. So now that's done. We've got it installed. We're going to back out. You want to go back to the main directory and click Refresh and then Exit Out. Okay, guys, so I will see you guys inside the game. All right, guys, so here we are in the game, and I'm fixing to show you guys how to operate Stop the Ped. Uh, we just got done installing it, went to the INI files, and changed up a few things. So let's get on with this. We are currently down here in Los Santos. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how this, uh, how this cool mod works, man. Let's do it. Now we actually need to be a, bit, a little bit more in downtown uh, Los Santos rather than this. Now let's see. Um, I believe I can go. Let me just go this way here. I'll just pull somebody over real quick. Hope you guys are having a great week so far. Hope you guys are happy in life and where you want to be. Dispatching at 1020 on a 49 Ocean Sam George 424. Target license plate. 49 Ocean Sam George 424. A traffic violation. Ooh. Proceed with caution. Now let's get him lit up. Bumpy road. Pull it over, man. Uh, is he going to run on me? Of course he is, isn't he? Okay. He's gonna run. Report a one forty eight and mirror park. He is gonna run. All I need to do is just Showcase this, stop the bed, and you're gonna run on me. Backup needed on Popular Street in East Vinewood. Units respond, code 3. Three, we have suspect northbound. Alright, this cop's probably gonna get him before me. Push it twice around the D pad, guys. Idiot. Right, so he's gonna get him down and rest, and when he gets him up, never out of then we'll proceed Sorry, with uh, stop the pad. All right, so he's under arrest. You've been a bad boy. All right, now see how it's telling me to close that door. See how it's telling me up at the top to uh, press D pad. Button to open the stop bed menu. And that's what you do. Why won't this door close? Oh, I did not mean to hit him. Don't hit him. Do not hit him. Try and close the door. Close it, man. Alright, so. What you want to do, guys, is push around the D pad to open up the menu, okay? To approach him and then right there gives you an option either grab him or have him follow you I'm gonna grab him push a to do that 
You're gonna get him over here, out of the way. I'm actually gonna take him right up here. So this gives you a lot of options, guys. This is why I love Stop the Pad. Then you push right on the D-pad again, and let you release him, okay? And you can walk around in front of him here, press D-pad again on the on, uh, right. You can have him kneel down, you can question him, pat him down, breathalyzer test, drug drug test him. You can call for a transport to pick him up and take him to jail. You can call for an ambulance. Um, in some cases, um, it'll let you call for a taxi or an Uber. Um, or you can release the suspect, okay? Being the fact that he ran, uh, let's go ahead and uh, pat him down. You got anything going to poke me, jab me, or stab me, man? So you just select it, press A, and he does all this all this cool stuff. And I'll show you guys the pursuit, how to set the pursuit target and all that good stuff. Got a lock pick, a plane ticket, a bike camera, and a terrorist mask, so he's, he's up to no good. Alright. And then if you want to kneel down, you press right on the D-pad again. Select kneel down option, hit A. Like that. If you want him to get back up, you walk up to him just like this. Press on the D-pad, have him get up. Alright. Same as everything else, guys. Breathalyzer test, press A on it. Uh, there's all kinds of questions here. You can ask him, has he been drinking, any drugs? Have anything illegal on him? What is he doing? Where did he come from? Where are you headed to? Do you live in the neighborhood? Do you have warrants? They just added these last two on the last update they did. Not this update, but the one before this, I think it was. They added these two right here. So you ask him, do you have a warrant? He's supposed to say, I don't know. But he says that instead. I don't know why they put that, but they need to kind of fix that up. So now I'm going to show you how to put him in the cop car. Uh, when you have him so you just press grab you're gonna grab him and you're gonna walk him over to your cop car like this all right and when you get near the back of the cop car an option will pop up that asks you if you want to put him in the rear seat or release him so we're gonna put him in the rear seat select that option your, your officer will open the door, you walk away, he gets in, magic, bam, there you go, guys, that's it, all right, and then once you get in, of course, the rest manager kicks in, you press zero to route the jail, and right there it is, guys, you take him in jail, but, I mean, being the fact, we're just, I'm just showing you something here, we're just gonna, uh, I'm gonna release him, so, right, let's pull over right here, but you guys love this car, I love this car pack, I love the car back. All right, man, dude. You better stay out of trouble. You understand? You better, like, better be like I got a big heart and I love everybody. Get out of here, man. Thanks. And apparently six is one of the siren buttons, too. I forgot about that. Yeah, you better say thank you. All right, now we're going to go out and uh, point somebody out as a pursuit target. Actually, what we're going to do is I'm going to get out right here. And I'm going to show you guys how to actually stop somebody without going, them going into arrest mode. So I'm going to stop this guy here smoking. All right, so he's going to turn around. All I did was press right on the D-pad twice, or you press E on the keyboard twice. Open it up. You can get their ID. Uh, you can go ahead and grab them if you want to. Question them, pat them down, breathalyze test. Same as the other one. Now, right here, you can dismiss them on foot or on vehicle. In this case, you can request a taxi, an Uber, or an ambulance, okay? Now, normally, the suspect is under arrest. They only give you an option to... Call for an ambulance or a transport. Have y'all seen that? So, uh, you got some ID, man? It's a little bit of role play here, guys. I have, I have so much fun with this game. Michael Howitt. All right. So, if you want to get a check on him, you guys know how to do that. You pull up your police radio. Dispatch a 1027 on a Michael Howitt, DOB 119-2000. I'm going to show you his records. Everything he's got going on. He's valid, no active warrants, so at this point I would say, okay, Mr. Howitt, just want to check, you look a little suspicious to me, uh, have a good day, and you're going to dismiss him. All right, you can go now. So there you go, and he's gone. Now, if you want to point somebody out as a pursuit target, or get them on their knees, we'll, we'll do, we'll do, we'll get them on their knees first. So I'm going to point my gun at this guy, hey, press around the D-pad, he's going to put his hands up, all right, keep your gun on him. You're going to get on his knees, put his hands behind his head. You're going to walk up. 
It's going to give you an option to press right on the D-pad. When it does that, press right, and then click A, and he'll arrest him. Hope you like prison food, shithead. Yeah, it's a lot worse than them hot dogs you're cooking. All right, so that's 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 it right there, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and release this guy. I'm going to release his handcuffs. And then if he sticks around, because most normally they take off. The most usually they take off after this. Just a warning this time, okay? But if he sticks, if he stays there, okay. So I'm going to pull my gun out. I'm going to point it at him and push up on the D-pad. And point him out. Now see that? It pointed him out as a, as a target pursuit. So, or pursuit target, I mean. All right, so he's running now. And pretty much, you guys don't do from there. You're going to run after him. If I can ever tell you. I'm not usually... Tackle. Tackle. See? X button. Tackled him. It's like that. Or you can tase him. But that's how you point someone out as a, as a pursuit target. And then you press it again. Twice on the D-pad. And it'll stop him, okay? Or you can take him down vanilla style. It's up to you. You say, get on your stomach. Get on your stomach. Get down on your stomach. Get on your stomach. Okay, so something else I want to show you guys. Remember that G key I was always talking about? Well, it is about to come into big, major time play here, okay? So we're actually going to pull somebody over here. And actually use this for a couple different things. But I'm going to pull this guy over. We're in Mirror Park here. Y'all see my Walgreens I got going on over there? See that? Dr. Pepper sign up. It's a mod. It's a really cool mod to have. Hey, man, don't get out in front of me, dude. I'll try to tell you. Let's go ahead and light this guy up. I don't know how my ELS menu got turned off. I'm about to turn that back on real quick. Makes me feel kind of weird not having that. See, I got a McDonald's right there. Y'all want to know how to install that mod? And it, it's, only, it's only in Mirror Park, though. It puts up uh, like a McDonald's, a Subway... Uh, a 76 ga a gas station, the old 76 gas station. Uh, what else is it? Put an IHOP. There's, a, but it, but it's only in Mirror Park. But there's a there's quite a few stores here that. that oh, and, and an old 7-Eleven. Puts an old 7-Eleven. Give me just a second, guys. Let me put my ELS box back up. There we go. There it is. All right. So uh, okay, so we're gonna use this uh, G key. I'm gonna show you guys how this G key works. Okay, guys. Now let's use this G key. Okay. So just for instance, uh, if you guys have vehicle search and you already know how to do that, but just say if I want to do a quick search on a vehicle, okay, I'm going to push the G key. It's going to pull up. It's going to give me it's going to give me options to search the vehicle, request tow, call the vehicle insurance, which is pretty much the tow company. Um, slow down traffic, stop traffic. Now if you stop traffic, I'm going to go ahead and stop traffic. Now see the yellow circle pop up in the middle of the map. I'm going to enlarge my map here so you guys can see it. So now it's the little yellow circle. So traffic has now come to a stop, okay? All traffic has stopped. Nobody will flow through from either end, okay? Let's see how the traffic has stopped there. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and do a vehicle search with that G key. Push the G key. Search the vehicle. It opens the whole thing up. See that? And then it shows you, like it shows you what you find in every, on each side, like driver's side, shotgun, Glass cutting equipment, an AR-15 rifle, and a basketball. Oh, this guy's in big trouble. Passenger side, nothing found. Trunk, nothing found. The only thing it doesn't show that I don't like is under the hood because I sh I search under the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is my guy doing? Like, I love I always search under the hood right here. I always do that. So, if you want to do that, you just walk up and push your your search key, and he'll he'll search it out or whatever, just like that. See. So you'll have to search the hood separately in that in that case. Shave keys and use needles. But anyway, now another way that this G key is used, one is for stop, to slow down or stop traffic. Uh, of course, to tow the vehicle. Let's go ahead and tow the vehicle. I'll show you guys how to do that. Press the G key. Go to request tow service. Dispatch, I think 1185 in Mirror Park. Flatbed, backup required in Mirror Park. So they'll come pick up the vehicle. I'm gonna go back here and move my move my car out of the way so the tow truck driver can have room to get in here. Now at this point, sometimes you're gonna have to you you might have to release traffic to let the tow truck driver in. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But in this case, uh, it looks like it looks like he's gonna come right in here and get the truck. 
Yeah, he is. But if something happens that he don't, you can always to always hold down. I think it's the H to spawn him in there real quick so he can get the vehicle and then get out of there. Cause, yeah, see, he got the vehicle. So, anyway. All right, now, guys, forgive me for this, but I'm going to have to shoot somebody to, to show you how this next one works, okay? So, I'm really sorry. I really don't like doing this unless I have to in the game. Uh, so, let me just... Um, God, who do I shoot? Oh, my God, this is a hard choice. Let me let these two go, first of all. Let me just fire her up. All right, so, for example, okay, she's dead, all right? You've got a dead, dead victim on the ground, all right? You're going to walk up to him real close like that. You're going to press the G key. Now, it gives you an option to search the body, drag the body, perform CPR, request corner unit, or clear traffic, which, because I have traffic stopped, I'm going to go ahead and clear the traffic, though. Let me push the G key again. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how to drag the body. Now, this is really weird how this works, so guys. Pay close attention to how to do this. Report oh my gosh, why do you talk every time I talk? Thank you, that's so rude. Okay, so anyway, when you drag the body and you drag it backwards, you're actually going to push up on your left thumbstick. You're going to push up, okay? And you're going to have to go back and forth to guide the body. So let's go ahead and drag the body, all right? So at this point, I'm going to push up, and then go right, I'm actually going to go left on the D-pad, and then go right, I'm actually going to go, to go left, I'm actually going to go left, I'm sorry guys, dragging the body is up on the thumbstick, okay, now to go right, you're going to go left on the thumbstick, okay, and to go left, you're going to go right on the thumbstick, I know it's really weird, okay, now when you want to lay the body down, you just pull down on the thumbstick like this. And he'll lay the body down just like that, okay? I hope I didn't confuse you guys too much with that. Alright, so there's that. For real? I hear shots fired. Y'all hear guns going off? Alright, well, I'm not on duty anyway, but... Anyway, now, if I just say, if it, for instance, if I want to search the body, you press the G key again, you're going to go and click search the body, and that's exactly what he's going to do. All right, so, and it'll tell you exactly what you found, which was a used needle and a lollipop. So, all right, well, good for her. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, call a corner for her while, I get, while, I'm, while I'm at it. So you go down, to, you hit the G key, go down to corner service. Uh, dispatch, I need 1055 in uh, Mirrorport. Backup required in uh, Mirrorport. So it's that's what that's why I've been telling you guys to say leave that G key available open and available for this specific thing because you don't want to clash with this because it's very important to have this G key for these specific reasons. Um, you know, you just you know you don't want anything to clash. So I want to say that is pretty much it, guys. It slows down traffic, stops traffic, searches vehicles, does CPR. Um, so, for example, let me, alright, let me perform, <laughs> let me, <laughs> I'm so sorry guys, I'm gonna perform CPR on this girl right here, okay, let me go up to her, we're gonna press the G key again, you're gonna go down, perform CPR, and he will perform CPR, okay, so he's getting ready to do that right now, he's putting his hands up by telling everybody, okay, back up, back up, uh, I'm gonna perform CPR on her, I hope he, Hope he does it right. Because normally they push on their stomach or something and it just looks unrealistic. So let's see where he's going to push at. On her pelvic bone. Okay, that's even better. And there's the corner. Alright. And she has been revived. Okay, of course. I hope so. It was just a pimp smack anyway. Why did they just put her in a body bag? She was revived. Okay, that was really weird. Anyway, that's how you do CPR, there was guys. one right more there. thing um, I think I wanted to show you guys. Oh, yeah, I know what it was. So I'm just going to pull up here on the curb here real quick. And we're going to stop this pad right here. No gun drawn, nothing like that. And put the gun away. So push right on the D-pad twice. Push E on the keyboard twice. 
There's one more thing I want to show you guys. So I'm gonna actually um, so instead of using the the stop the pad menu, remember the option it had for left control T. So here's what you do: you walk up. Well, let me make sure I'm close enough. You hit left control T for quick grab. Okay. So see how I quick grabbed her. So it allows me to quick grab the pad without any handcuffs or anything like that without using the menu. And then to release, you do the exact same thing. Left control, left control T. See that? If I want to do it again, left control T. Quick grabs the pad. Left control T, releases them. See that? And then if you want to knock them out, you know, you can just, you know, smack them like that or whatever. <laughs> I want to show you guys my Dirty Harry too. See my Dirty Harry? If y'all want to scare the bejesus out of everybody, watch this. Y'all get on out of here. Get going. Get going. Get running. That seems to scare everybody. But anyway, guys, that's just what I want to show you guys. I'm glad y'all tuned in the video today. Thank y'all so much for uh, watching my video, my tutorial. There will be more tutorials coming your way. If you have any requests at all for tutorials, videos, uh, LSPFR episodes, video games, anything like that you want me to play, guys, comment, and I'll play it for you. I have no problem with it, guys. I have no problem entertaining you fine young ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for the love and support. Be sure to smash the like button for me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and join my Discord, in which I will leave the link in the description below. We have a ton, ton of support group in there, and we are now looking for, um, uh, support team groups, uh, Anybody wants to join the support team, if you want to do that or become a moderator or anything like that, let us know. Come in the Discord and help out, you know. If you have any computer knowledge at all or you're just good at helping people, let me know. Come in there. I talk to everybody one-on-one. -on -one. You can ask anybody on my Discord, anybody on my YouTube. I talk to everybody one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, guys? Uh, because I think it's important, you know, as the YouTuber... To keep up with my subscribers because I wouldn't have as many subscribers as I do if it weren't for you guys in the first place. So again, guys, like I always say, thank you so much at the bottom of my heart. I appreciate the love and support. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.